All the fog, seeing why I get a clear view. People coming with the tides like we church and pew. Haters putting them aside, yeah, I often do. Some claim it to be friends, but... What's going on, people? This is Influence, and I'm back with another video of review of MMC's PS12 Saltis, which is basically Masterpiece Springer. Um, as you can see, he's in helicopter mode and he looks great. Like it, it is a great mode. This is probably the best of the alt modes, um, between the car and the helicopter. So that stand is not for, um, it actually. So I just put it up there, uh, like just to display it for this review. So you get some accessories, you get the bomb, of course. I kept the bomb in plastic because it has some like, I don't know, it was like some some stuff on it. It looked like from the factory. I'm not sure. You get two faces. Actually, you get three faces. You get the face that comes on him, which is this face. It had the pointy chin face, I call it. Then you get the smiley face with the non-pointy chin. Uh, and you had the face that's on him, which is kind of like this face, but without the pointy chin. It's more like this style of head, but without him smiling. <clears throat> and I put that on there. That that doesn't come. This comes. This actually comes on him. I didn't like that face. I like the other face. The face that I got on better. Get this, of course, to for the tech specs. Got the book. Directions. Directions not bad. Not too bad. This is probably one of the funnest transformations. Um, it's funny because the Megatron Legends I did a couple of days ago was one of the best transformations. And now this is probably one of the best masterpieces. Let's get a look at the helicopter. This is Sandstorm, Sunstorm's uh, stand. Then you see the box, got some artwork. Got the te tech specs, that's what that red thing is for. As far as accessories, he comes with his gun, which I have it down here. Now I'm gonna show this off. I don't know if it's supposed to go like this. Uh, I doubt it because of the way it is, but if you got a stand, looks kind of nice like this cybertronian so but it's just his head is right here in the fin on top of his head i just have when you put the the uh handle in these come out now they look like they clip on somewhere or going somewhere maybe they had an option but they decided against it i don't know but that's what happens and i use that clip to clip onto his head right here it's not super tight, so I don't think it'll rub any paint off, but it is cool. Also, I have also the other accessory you get besides this gun is you get these, which is adapters. This adapter goes here in the side. And then you have the little stick thing. It's mainly for car mode. It works best in car mode, but you can do it in helicopter mode too. But then you just... It's a little, you see that little t tab hole and you just, just tab it in there. It's really tight, so it's hard to get off once you tab it in. Uh, so there you go. You can have it like that also. Blades spin around. They're a little tight, but I mean, you can get them to spin. I doubt you're going to sit there and be spinning them. And this over here, I just kept it here so I don't lose it, but it it's for the sword and it's mainly... In car mode, of course, because the sword is the blades. So you can store everything. So y'all, I'm splicing this in because I forgot to uh, show this accessory. It's the spear. It comes in two, two pieces. It's pretty nice. And he just holds it just regular. Um, sorry about that. I, I just had this on the side because I, I probably never use this. I don't know, but... This is a nice, uh, it's a nice accessory. This is die cast or this is metal. Not, I don't, I don't know. It's like steel or might be stainless steel. <laughs> it's on him in both modes. I should say all three modes because he can carry. Also, he doesn't come with Spike or Daniel. I don't know who this is. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I just wanted to show that off that he can fit in there and he can stay in there doing the whole transformation, which is cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You got these fins. Um, no articulation really. 
none that's supposed to be. You know, you can pull them down, have them how you want. This moves up and down just because of transformation. And yeah, this this looks this looks great. It's a great great representation. I put that on there, of course. That did not come on there. Um, yeah, I really like the helicopter, how the helicopter looks. So I started off in the helicopter. It starts it, out the boxes in car mode. I just wanted to go a different route. Since directions are okay, they go from car to helicopter, which is the easiest, and then from helicopter to robot. But I'm going to go from helicopter to car, and then I'm going to go from car to robot. So you can see. All right, so let's get this transformation. Take that out. Got this. Hold this together as a sword. And see this? Uh, it, it's pretty tight, but you can do it. And if it's not, the sword is nicely painted. So that's why I would worry because it's, it's hard to get in there. Even if you put it at the lowest angle, the lowest part, it's still kind of difficult. And there you go. Like right there seems to be a sweet spot. I don't know why, but get it in there and it's hard to get off so i'm not going to do it too many times but for this review do that put that aside take the gun off see how that thing it stays in and usually you need a tool to pull it out it's it's tight so we're just going to keep that it, well here this thing moves it slides back and forth there's a tab here and a tab here that locks this in let's move these two move these away from the body just so you can have some room makes it a little easier slide it up too so pull these out then these let me get it down a little bit so you can see you want to split these legs then you want to move them this way because that's their their final position so you can just I like to move these down now because when this is all, uh, it's the wheels. So when this is all folded up and on top of here, it's hard to move this wheel. So let's move that down. Then you can fold this up. There's a tab right here that goes into here, but just wing up, fold this back at the same time. It's kind of weird, but it's intuitive. Like you spin it around and then you can fold this down like this. Then it uh, all goes into that little cavity. There's a tab underneath that it clicks in. There you go. You can do this eye, pull that up, pull this up, pull it down and around. I forgot the tire. Let me do the tire. There you go. That can get pretty difficult, but it's nothing you can't get past. So now I'll just leave that like that because you eventually have to pull these up. And there's these tabs right here that you need to pull out. You can do it with your finger, but it is hard. So I use a tool, of course. All right, let me get that off camera. Whew, so that that's difficult. That, <laughs> that tab, like, see how you push it? You push it all the way in, and it's just little, and it's tight. It may loosen up over time. But now that we got that, let's get this front going. Bring this up, accordion in it. Now, it's much easier to go from helicopter to robot, and then from robot to car and car to helicopter. It's a lot easier, but I, I just didn't want to. Didn't want to do that. So you can go up under here, lift that out. You can move these if you feel like it. It don't matter what order this goes. Um, move them out. Then put that back down. Now with these, you want to... They're like this. So 
there's a little pin that goes into this and this goes into a peg there so you want to pull it out the pin a little bit it moves just enough and that's what i mean this engineering is great because it moves just enough down so you can get the pin out and then you can pull it out that tab and i feel like other companies would have had this maybe stagnant where you had to like try to jam it in there but i don't know i just i just think this this I like when companies do stuff like that and they think about little little stuff which is cool then you this ain't the best like you spin this up and around and then you can have it down like that so it stays like that but this once you get it out that pin I'm gonna show it better on the other side then you put it all the way around and it basically goes inside but as helicopter mode, you have these and they're on, they're pegged in to uh, this. Let me show it. See these flaps, these flaps are pegged in like that. Cause in helicopter mode, you, you have them and it, it pegs them in really good. So they don't move, but then you have to move these flaps down and you have to bring them up for robot mode. So that's why it's easier to go to robot mode when you're in helicopter mode because you got little stuff like this to contend with but you want those flats flat for this part then you move this over and this tucks into here uh, but you just got to get it right it's not difficult you just got to get it lined up correctly it's hard behind the camera And there you go. So once you get that lined up correctly, you do the other side. And I'm going to show the other side a little bit more. Uh, so this is like this. You want to open it up so you have that room. Then you have that little pin. Pull that. Pull it out of that. Then this goes down and back up and then down. And you flip this, flip this around, have it, have it like this, it's better. You push and then put it down. It's much easier and, and very intuitive when you're not behind a camera. Because you just have to have all this, you have to have it square. And long as it's squared and it, you know, you can put it back down and it just goes in there easy. It's not hard at all. It's not as hard as it looks. I should say. And you just get these situated. Throw these uh forward. They're forward on uh in car mode. So it's like over top of there's a couple of pegs here. Peg it down, peg it down right here. These two pegs. Thought there was a peg. Put it down. Alright. I don't know if you even saw that. So I'll show it on this one. Uh-uh. Flip all that out, push this forward, this defender. Then there's a peg right here, goes in. Peg right here, goes in there. Now you can flip these. I'm gonna worry about this stuff last. Uh, that's the, the hard tab that just got out. It goes right here in this side. So you wanna get it around that stuff and then just Put it in there. Um, again, get it around this stuff right here, and then push it in there. Then this goes. You want to grab this. So these pegs, these pegs don't. That's one thing. They don't. They feel really tight. And I got a stretch mark. A stretch mark. Stretch. Stretch mark. Stress mark right here. So anyway, you want to pull it out and then flip it around. Now this goes back. Then this goes down and this pegs in down here. Make sure it's all the way, all the way back. 
because this pegs, like I said, down here, but the pegs are right here. So just peg that down. And now you have car mode. Now it's a lot easier to get to this mode than what I <laughs> showed just because it's hard behind the camera, but it's very intuitive. It rolls. It has rubber rubber tires, it has a little covering. Now this mode suffers a little bit in my opinion because the back doesn't look like Springer. Like it should have been a little narrow back here, I believe. I think I remember. I probably put a picture up here. But yeah, I believe it, it was a little narrow in the back. It just doesn't look like Springer. But in the front it does. Got Daniel still there. The knees on this side you had the double. Just for the sword. Put that in there like that. Then on this side you can put the gun. Where's it at? Right there. Now he's armored up. And it doesn't look bad because he's Cybertronian and so Cybertron, they have weapons on their cars. It's heavy, it has a lot of die cast in the legs and right here. So it is definitely heavy. And that's the heaviness is uh, kind of plays to one of my negatives of the figure. Not that it's heavy, but um, you'll see when I get the robot mode. But there's not many, not many negatives. So let's see if I can get this out. And that's what I mean. Luckily, no paint is scratched off, but it's probably be the last time I use that. I don't I don't plan on having it in car mode anyway. See the helicopter robot for me. That was that was easier. Probably won't ever use that either. Doesn't matter. There you go with that. Here's the sculpt of the gun. Nice sculpt. Nice gun. Looks the part. So let's get into ro uh, robot mode now. I'm going to lift this up. Get these together. Um, I'm going to do the bottom half just because we want to get. No, you know what? I'm going to do the top. Top half first. Get these wheels in. They need to be in. Try to bring it out. Now this I like it it's a it it makes it so it doesn't look weird like when it's in car and helicopter mode, but then when you go forward you can move this to connect to make the elbow. To make the double jointed elbow. And there you go. And now it's a move movable double jointed elbow. So let's get these arms out. Get these un unpegged. Then you can you just leave them like that for now. That arm is, is just about done. So move this out. Get this. Make sure it pegs in. Usually does it by itself when you move the arm out like that, but you never know. Might not. Get this out the way. Get this pegged, unpegged and accordion it and then leave it like that so now let's get these legs you know you have to pull these out and move it this way this skirt is the front of and you see his belt pull that out this you want to push in can get kind of hard so push it in pull these out a little bit and push that in and then make sure pull that around. Let's do this leg. Turn it so it's facing forward. Pull the knee out. Leg up. Leg up. So 
sometimes it just bumps in the way. You don't really have to do that, but sometimes it's worth it. So now you want to pull these feet out. Pull this feet, foot, this feet. This foot out, you want to push these up too. But like I said, you don't have to push them all the way up. So pull this foot out. And the toe is pulls out like all the way. And then it clicks. Should click. Oh, maybe it did. It did click. So you got the toe and heel spur. So let's do the same on this one. Just pull that out. Pull the heel spur down. And then pull the toe forward. And that one clicked. So basically got legs done now we're getting no articulation but his knees aren't ratcheted and that's a that's a negative and put this up a little bit you don't have to put it all the way in I said that before but so now let's get his upper body he's getting too tall so with this this all the way slid back it should all already be slid back you can stick your nail or something in there. And this comes up pretty pretty easy. Once that's up, then you can lift this up. And before all that, when you have this up, you can try to get these right here, these panels. You can just push them out. Um, see how that it accordions in order to move past this piece. Just accordion that out and do the other side. Like sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Like if you pull up right on this piece, it'll automatically like accordion and then you got it out like that. So you just get this. By that opening, you just push this down. Just break the little tabs. Don't break it, but bad choice of words. <laughs> break the connection I should say now these have tabs right here here these four go into these this one right here right here these four usually it's not that difficult but it will be of course today yep it will be today because I'm doing it on camera it's really not that hard. It's just a matter of lining both sides up, right? And then pushing it down. So now with this, I mean, you can have it like this or you can have it like this, whichever your preference is. My preference is like this. So you just accordion it up. It goes almost automatically. Then you accordion it back tab that in and you can fold this up like that so now you got that same over here quit it in the top fold it down tab it fold it tab it <laughs> then you just get these anatomically correct so they're uh, got the elbow bend in the right spot Then your the favorite transformation ever element is the fist. Pop it out. Now let's get this back together. Push this back up. Then this goes all the way up. Then you can fold these. Um, you even have it like this. Fold it up there so it's like almost less of a backpack. Just leave it like that. I think that's pretty clean. Pretty clean. Big figure. Uh, let me get his legs right. You gotta get his feet right, but he definitely stands up 
and he's articulated well. So you can see, we can go through articulation right now. Um, his head goes up, down that far, because it's kind of like, has it comes out some, where you can get it farther down, which is nice. You can move it all the way around. You need to. Like I said, these shoulders can go to the side pretty easily. So then you can have way more articulation than he gets with the shoulder pads up. He has waist. Um, no ab crunch. Which is all right. Arm goes all the way around. Of course, has double jointed elbow that gets you full. But it does break up the scope a little bit, even with this extra joint. Uh, but you can get more than 90. He has single articulated fingers on pins. And his his pointer finger is articulated in like all the knuckles. And then he has the grip, grippy hand fingers. He has a thumb that's grippy, but it's on a ball joint. And his hands twist. He has these things that pop up here. On each arm, I guess they're communicators or rockets or... I have no idea. I don't remember them. Uh, I already did his waist. Down here, he has ratchets. Goes this way. This way. Very, very tough ratchets. He's, he's very heavy right here. I think this is all die cast. Has ratchets on the outer. Doesn't fail. Very good. Very good articulation. His knees double jointed and he gets all the way up. He's hitting his back. The thing I don't like is the knees don't have ratchets in them. So he stands up fine. But when you're manipulating him, he'll go like that. Because he's so heavy. Like, I think this is die cast. His, his legs are die cast. So there's that. That's a negative, but it's not a deal breaker by any means. Then his feet. His feet I don't like a lot. Uh, I kind of don't like the way they look, but they're fine. They're okay. They're die cast as well. But then you have toe tilt. This can go up and down. He has a lot of articulation, but that sometimes hurts it as well because he'll go all over the place until you can set it right where you need it, which is sometimes can get cumbersome. You can get it there, but once you pose it on the shelf, you're going to need to keep it on that shelf. So let's see his weapons. He holds his sword kind of loosely. Of course, it has the normal masterpiece, but it's like kind of small. It's not long, I guess, to give him the illusion of the sword. So it doesn't go in there. It just it falls out. But he holds it fine because the hands are very stiff. So I just put it in there like that. Let him grab it. It does have the illusion that he's holding a sword without that thing. So once his hands are around it, it's fine. Like it's not, doesn't go anywhere. His gun on the other hand has a long, long tab. So let's get these in there like that. Then you got the trigger finger going. You can... Then he, I like his, I like his shoulder pads. Um, you can have him like Samurai Springer. And I'll show you once, once he gets, once you get these feet in order, like it's fine. You just got to get them in order, like how you want them. So see. Once that happens, you're good. You're good to go. Let me get all his brethren together. So there he is with some of his cast members, and I think that works. I think it looks great. Uh, RC is bigger. I mean, he's bigger than RC and Cup. He's smaller than Magnus. Um... Definitely think that works. 
trying to get him out of here without. And that's a testament. He's put her out here. So yeah, I think I think that's a good great scale. I don't know what they're all looking at, but something's coming. Up, oh, he got taken out. All right, so this is uh. I guess I can give my approval of this figure and not just approval very much like it. If you don't have a representation or even if you do, this is a great one to add to your collection. Springer. This is MMC's. What's it called? Saltus aerial defense Saltus PS 12 on I recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Great figure, great figure, great, great to be added to my collection. All right. Get up with y'all in the next one.